<laughs> eight, just ate my grapefruit really late. Um, I have been missing my fruits quite often in the last few days. But today I am at 144.0. Yesterday I was at 145.2. And I believe today is VLCD 16. Um, I ate really late today at about 6 o'clock, which is way later than I usually eat. That was for multiple reasons. Um, thank goodness they everything went well. Um, the things I needed to get done got done. Well, not, well, yeah, most of it. And, um, yeah, so I'm getting lower and lower. And like I've said before, my goal is at least 140. I would be extremely happy if I can get down to 135. Um, let me see. So I've lost a total of 16.8 pounds since I've been on this round. And today is day 16. Um, I made my new batch of HCG yesterday evening. So we'll see how it works. Um, I skip Thursdays. Every Thursday I skip. Um, it helps to not get immune. I'm not exercising. I mean, I'm not sitting on the couch all day, but I'm not like making time to exercise because I don't have any. But I am doing a lot of walking during the day, going to classes, going walking around the grocery store, things like that. So, yeah. But, um, my husband's deployment is coming to an end. I can't exactly, of course, say what day, but, um, I had got bad news before that we weren't going to be able to visit my family in Texas. That's where I'm from. And now, I found out that he will get a longer leave period. A leave period is basically... Um, the military's vacation that's what they call it um, usually when you're on the deployment for um, you know a long period of time you get leave it could be any amount of days that, that you can get that they can give you so he's going to get the max which is great he's going to get two weeks and um, he hasn't been off in two weeks for a few years so um we're going to go to Texas, we're going to enjoy ourselves, and we're going to come home, and we're going to relax. And I'm so excited um, to go, because I have not seen my family in a while. And I don't get to visit very often. And my daughter is getting very big, and um, she's changing every day, so I would like for them to be able to see her, you know, um, now, before she turns one and starts walking, or you know, more things than that, but, um, I'm really excited, but think about that, when deployments come to an end, coming to an end, you have a lot to, um, plan for, and you also have a lot to, um, plan for for the leave, um, when you're, you know, when you're going on leave, you don't want the leave period to be planning, because, if you do, then you're going to not have any time to relax. So, um, my husband told me when he does get back, he's going to get two days off, and then he's going to be at work for two days. So, um, during the two days he's at work, I will be getting ready to go, because after he gets off of work, we're going to be going to Texas. Um, oh, no, a couple days after. But I would rather have everything ready. That's just me. I'm a very organized anal person and my husband is the same way. I think I'm a little bit more that way because um, just women in general um, you know we have to have things a certain way. Now I'm not going to say that I don't have my times where I'm messy. For example right now on my couch there's sales papers on top of my um, the top of the couch and then my desk looks like a wreck because I was making pictures and um, I have bills that are 
on there that are already paid that I need to put up and then I have bills that aren't paid that are sitting there too and then yeah I just have clutter that it's going to be easy to straighten up that's the problem that's the reason why I have not done it yet anyway um what else guys I am so excited with my weight but of course when you get used to being able to lose weight this fast not that I've honestly I've never been able to lose it this fast but I've been able to lose it really fast and this is extremely fast but I've been able to lose it really fast so it's I, the, losing the weight is great but then it's getting to the goal for me everything in between is like oh I'm still fat you know I still have back rows I really don't want them I mean I honestly would rather have a fat stomach and just run it off then because the back fat you can cardio it off if you know what I mean but it takes a very long time like a long time it, the first time I had back rolls and I got them off it took me about maybe five six months to get them gone but it I mean I was also like not eating right so it I was not eating eating really and um, actually I'm lying now during that time I was eating a lot and I was in athletics so I was running all the time lifting weights all the time I was in powerlifting I was in track I was like the slowest with my little legs <laughs> that's not an excuse though because there's a lot of short girls that can run really fast um but yeah um I was not eating I was eating everything and still um worked out and I maintained my weight and lost so anyway I'm excited I really want to get like I wish I can of course everybody wishes but you know I don't want to feel like I'm not satisfied because as soon as I feel like I'm not satisfied, then I'll probably have a small loss, but, or a gain or something like that, but, um, I don't think I am, I think I'm above, I, I think I'm losing weight more, or, um, not more, but I'm losing more weight, or I'm at a higher loss than I was last time, but then again, I've gained six pounds during loading, so, but it's still, like, the ratio, or the records, like, state, that on this specific day, I was at minus whatever pounds, and then, it, I think today is more than last time. Yeah, so, um, maybe tomorrow, or the next day, I'll do a body shot, but, um, maybe not tomorrow I have to get my car maintenance tomorrow um, car maintenance is very important guys um, especially if you're lease or not leasing but if you're um, well basically it is well it's not leasing basically if you're buying a car paying a car note it's very important I mean you're paying for the car it's not paid for so you have to pay for the car and you know what if you have to pay for repair so to save from paying for a repair, get your car maintenance, get your oil changed, you know, get a tune-up. These things are not cheap, but they do save you a ton of, a ton of money in the future. Um, weather change is a great reason to, um, you know, get you, just take it. I mean, I take, we take our cars to Firestone. My husband's, um, father works for, um, Firestone, he's been working for them quite a long time, and um, they're great. I mean, you take your car in there, and um, they'll check it for you. I mean, they'll probably charge you $15, $20 to check it, but you'll know what's wrong with it, or you'll know what needs to be maintenance, not what's wrong with it, but what needs to be maintenance, and then you have the, you know, the choice if, or, or not if you want to get those things maintenance. For example, there's multiple things that I should be getting maintenance because I'm about to hit my 60,000 mark on my car. But I don't have to get all of them done, really. I just
just need to get the things done that I need to get done for what I'm doing with my car. Um, I'm about 2,300 miles away from 60,000, so yes, I do need to be cautious to, you know, think about, oh yeah, you know, when I'm a little over 60,000, it'll be time to, uh, It'll be time to, you know, um, get those things done. So, uh, but yeah, guys, I was going to eat my apple during the video, but I forgot. Now it's kind of cool. I like to eat it hot. But um, this is the Gaia apple with the uh, cinnamon and stevia like my favorite snack especially on P3 with peanut butter but I don't have peanut butter on it right now of course um, I wanted to ask you guys a question about shampooing and conditioning your hair now my hair has to have conditioner my hair drinks conditioner literally so um let me know about that. Let me know if you guys are still conditioning and washing your hair with the same products. Because, um, I mean, I do have products that don't have oil in it. But think about that. How that would feel and what that would do to my hair. Being dry. I have some really thick, coarse hair. So, I have to be careful. But I'm going to go and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry that I haven't made a video. Um, I'll do what I can when I can. It's been very busy. Thank you guys. You guys have a great night.